My name is Laura Roberts. I'm a state veterinarian with the Department of Agriculture in the Western Cape. Rabbit hemorrhagic disease is caused by a highly contagious virus called rabbit hemorrhagic disease virus. It was detected for the first time in South Africa in November 2022, though it is already quite widespread over the rest of the world, including in North Africa. Rabbit hemorrhagic disease is a disease that affects only rabbits and hares. There are no records of other animals or of humans becoming sick or infected. In South Africa, besides our domestic rabbits, we also have three indigenous hares in the Western Cape, and we also have the endangered river rhine rabbit, of which there are only a few hundred left. These live in very fragmented populations, quite separated, so the individual populations are very small and of concern. As with most contagious animal diseases, the most important thing in preventing rabbit hemorrhagic disease is biosecurity. So you have to think about animals, people and things. So in terms of animals, as far as possible prevent contact between your animals and any other rabbits or hares, including wild animals. In terms of people, try not to let any other people touch or may have contact with your rabbits or hares uh, and this includes particularly people who have their own pet rabbits or domestic rabbits. And then in terms of things, the virus can survive up to three months on objects such as feed and equipment. So thoroughly disinfect any new equipment, cages or anything like that. Um, be careful where you get feed and think about any clothing or footwear that has been near somewhere where there could have been other rabbits or hares. If you suspect a case of rabbit hemorrhagic disease, please report it to your local state veterinarian. Contact details for Western Cape State Vets are available on the Department of Agriculture's website, elsenberg.com. The state vet can then advise you on how to go forward. Um, domestic properties will be placed under quarantine to prevent spread of the disease further. In wild hares and rabbits, please do also report the location with GPS coordinates, the date, the species if you're sure, otherwise please send photographs so that we can ask other advice on identifying the species. And please, if the state vet doesn't need samples, please bury these carcasses about a meter and a half deep, away from any marshes or other water sources, and to, to prevent the spread of the disease from those carcasses. You can bury up to 60 kilograms of carcass, but more than that will need permission from our Provincial Waste Management Directorate.